In a distant galaxy, Zorax, a member of an advanced and peaceful extraterrestrial race, was chosen for a critical mission. His home planet, Zirconia, had thrived for millennia, but its resources were depleting. The Zirconians, in their quest for survival, identified Earth as a potential source of sustenance and knowledge. Zorax's mission was clear, investigate Earth, assess its resources, and determine its suitability for Zirconian needs, as Zorax's spacecraft approached Earth, he was captivated by the vibrant blue and green hues that painted the planet's surface. The ship entered Earth's atmosphere seamlessly, its advanced stealth technology rendering it invisible to human detection. Zorax landed in a dense forest, far from prying eyes, and began his exploration, emerging from his spacecraft, Zorax marveled at the lush surroundings. The forest was teeming with life, a stark contrast to the sterile environment of Zirconia. He activated his environmental scanner, absorbing data about the flora and fauna, and set off towards human civilization, as Zorax ventured closer to a nearby town, he heard faint cries for help. His curiosity peaked, he followed the sound through the thick underbrush until he reached a cliff's edge. There, he saw a young girl, Arya, clinging desperately to a precarious rock, her eyes wide with fear, without hesitation, Zorax extended a mechanical arm from his suit, gripping the girl securely and pulling her to safety. Arya, trembling and tearful, gazed up at her savior, a mix of awe and confusion on her face, thank you, she whispered, her voice barely audible. Who, what are you, Zorax's voice was calm and soothing. My name is Zorax. I'm from a faraway place. Are you hurt? Arya shook her head. No, I'm just scared. Thank you for saving me, Zorax nodded, his glowing eyes reflecting empathy. You're safe now. Let's get you back home. Zorax accompanied Arya back to her village, maintaining a cautious distance to avoid startling the locals. Arya's family, relieved to see her unharmed, initially regarded Zorax with suspicion. However, Arya's earnest recounting of the rescue gradually softened their apprehension. Arya's father, John, stepped forward. Thank you for saving my daughter. We owe you a great debt, Zorax inclined his head respectfully. I am pleased she is safe. My name is Zorax. I come in peace, John extended his hand, and after a brief hesitation, Zorax shook it. Welcome, Zorax. You must be hungry. Please, join us for dinner, around the dinner table, Zorax observed the family's interactions, fascinated by their warmth and camaraderie. He listened intently as they shared stories, their laughter filling the room. Arya's younger brother, David, was especially curious, bombarding Zorax with questions about his home planet and advanced technology, days turned into weeks as Zorax spent more time with Arya and her family. He helped with chores, learned about human customs, and experienced the joys and sorrows of everyday life. The more he immersed himself in their world, the more he admired the resilience and compassion of humans. One evening, Arya asked, Zorax, why did you come to Earth? Zorax hesitated, choosing his words carefully. I was sent to learn about your world, to understand your people. My home is very different from here. Arya's eyes sparkled with curiosity. Will you stay with us forever? Zorax smiled gently. I don't know, Arya. My mission is important, but so is what I've found here. One night, Zorax received a transmission from Zirconia. His superiors demanded a report on Earth's viability for resource extraction. Torn between his duty and his growing affection for Arya and her family, Zorax faced a moral dilemma. Arya, sensing his distress, approached him. Zorax, is everything all right? Zorax nodded, determination hardening his resolve. I won't let anything happen to you or your world, Zorax's response to his superiors was carefully crafted to mislead them without arousing suspicion. He emphasized the dangers and unsuitability of Earth for zirconian needs, painting a picture of a harsh and uninhabitable world. His people, trusting his judgment, decided to look elsewhere, with the immediate threat averted, Zorax chose to remain on Earth. He continued to live among humans, becoming an integral part of Arya's family and their community. 
His once rigid mission evolved into a heartfelt guardianship, protecting the world he had come to love. As time passed, Zorax's presence on Earth became a symbol of hope and unity. A testament to the power of compassion and understanding. The bond he forged with Arya and her family transcended the boundaries of species and planets, proving that even the most disparate beings could find common ground and mutual respect. Months passed, and Zorax's bond with Arya and her family deepened. He began to understand the complexities of human emotions, their capacity for love, and their resilience in the face of adversity. Arya became a bridge between Zorax and the rest of the village, slowly integrating him into their community. Arya's best friend, Emma, was initially wary of Zorax. Are you sure we can trust him? She asked Arya one afternoon, Arya nodded confidently. Zorax saved my life. He's not here to harm us. He's here to learn and help. Slowly, Emma and the other villagers began to accept Zorax. His advanced knowledge and technology proved beneficial, as he helped improve agricultural practices, taught new healing techniques, and even repaired infrastructure. His contributions fostered a sense of trust and admiration. Just as life seemed to settle into a new normal, a new threat emerged. A group of poachers discovered Zorax's technology and decided to capture him, believing they could sell the alien tech for a fortune. They set traps and ambushes, intent on capturing Zorax at any cost. One evening, as Zorax and Arya were walking back from the fields, they were ambushed. The poachers, armed with nets and tranquilizers, attacked swiftly. Zorax, despite his advanced abilities, was caught off guard. Arya screamed for help, but the poachers were relentless, using his advanced strength and agility, Zorax managed to fend off the attackers, but not without sustaining injuries. Arya, showing remarkable bravery, helped Zorax escape and tended to his wounds. The attack left the village shaken and fearful, the village, now aware of the poachers' intentions, rallied together to protect Zorax. John organized patrols and set up defenses around the village. Zorax, despite his injuries, continued to contribute, teaching the villagers how to build more effective defenses and utilize their resources efficiently, the community's spirit was strong. They saw Zorax not just as an outsider but as one of their own. Emma, who had once been skeptical, now stood by Arya's side, helping to coordinate efforts to keep Zorax safe. Chapter 10, The Poacher's Downfall, determined to rid their village of the poachers. The villagers devised a plan to trap them. Using Zorax's technology, they created decoys and set up ambushes of their own. The poachers, driven by greed, walked right into the trap. In a decisive confrontation, the villagers, led by Zorax and John, managed to capture the poachers. The village celebrated their victory, knowing that their unity and determination had protected them. With the threat of the poachers eliminated, the village focused on healing and rebuilding. Zorax, fully recovered from his injuries, continued to assist in every way he could. The bond between him and Arya grew stronger, as did his connection with the rest of the village, Arya often reflected on how much their lives had changed since Zorax's arrival. You've become a part of us, Zorax. I can't imagine our lives without you now. Zorax smiled, his eyes glowing softly. And I cannot imagine mine without you all. You have shown me the true meaning of family and belonging. Years passed, and the story of Zorax and the village became legend. Zorax's presence had brought advancements and peace. Leaving a lasting impact on the community. The village thrived, and Zorax, though still an alien, was considered a revered elder and protector. Arya, now grown, often told the younger generations about the day Zorax saved her and how he changed their lives forever. The children listened with wide-eyed wonder, inspired by the tale of courage, unity, and friendship, Zorax's mission had evolved far beyond its original scope. He had found a new home, a new purpose, and a new family. And in protecting Earth, he had discovered the profound depths of human connection and the boundless potential for understanding and love across the stars.